It's not It's not The Muppet Movie is a fantastic example of how to do a Muppet Movie perfectly. Great songs, likable characters, hilarious jokes and gags, effective emotional beats. Everything about this movie is really good. There's not a single bad scene. Well, except for Miss Piggy's dream sequence. But in any case, there's many great scenes in this movie. Moving right along, Kermit's confrontation with Doc Hopper, the reveal of Orson Welles, pretty much any of the celebrity cameos, really. One scene that stands out now that I'm older, though, is the scene when Kermit reflects on their adventures so far. It's the scene that kind of connects the second and third act, and it's where Kermit literally talks to himself about the journey so far. He talks about how he feels bad for bringing all these people with him on this adventure and how he feels he's inconvenienced them. But through really thinking about it, he realizes there's nothing to be ashamed about. I want to break down this scene and really talk about why I love it so much. The movie is about Kermit and his journey to Hollywood to become a big star. Along the way, he comes across other Muppet characters and a greedy businessman that wants to use Kermit as the mascot for his fast food chain. Every situation they get themselves into, they're able to overcome and keep moving on to Hollywood. That is, until their car breaks down in the middle of the desert. This is the first time in the movie where things feel hopeless, and Kermit feels especially responsible for making a mess of things. Kermit walks away, feeling ashamed of himself, and trying to reflect upon and figure out where he went wrong. Kermit literally talks to himself, reflecting on the adventure he and his friends have had so far. He feels he shouldn't have left the swamp, thinking, sure, he'd still be miserable having not left, but at least he wouldn't have disappointed his friends. It's such a devastating line to me. Sure, I'd be disappointed and miserable for not achieving my dream, but at least I wouldn't be disappointing others. He feels he's let them down even though they believed in him, but then he's reminded of something. Still, whether you promised them something or not, you gotta remember they wanted to come. But that's because they believed in me. No, they believed in the dream. This line really sticks out to me because it's a great reminder of figuring out what's important. Kermit feels responsible, but he's just chasing his dream. His friends are tagging along, not necessarily because they want what's best for Kermit, but what they want to do as well. To them, Kermit represents the fact that if he can make it, anyone can. If a simple frog can make millions of people happy, anyone can. And as Kermit reassures himself, he did promise someone something. He promised himself. He could only have gotten this far if he truly believed. The scene concludes with a shooting star flying through the sky as Kermit stands among the vast desert. The thing I've always loved about the Muppets, especially the Muppet movie, is how it portrays entertainment. Obviously the Muppets get to Hollywood and Orson Welles grants them their big wish. One could argue their achievement of getting stardom to be pretty unrealistic and dangerous to look up to, as if it's saying anyone can make it to Hollywood, which unfortunately isn't true. As we've been figuring out over the past couple of years, Hollywood is not the glamorous or progressive place we once thought it was. To me though, I don't see this movie as is glorifying Hollywood. I see it as a story about following your dreams and achieving your goals along with your friends. And I feel this one scene really shows how emotionally mature the Muppets can be. The movie is more focused on our characters meeting one another and building bonds and not letting anything stand in your way for your dreams. If it truly was about show business, it would show the Muppets failing immediately. But that comes later on in Muppets Take Manhattan, which is a video for another time. I honestly feel more for these puppets achieving their dreams than I do for a lot of other movies where humans are the main characters. That's why the tagline for this movie is more entertaining than humanly possible. The Muppets could portray all this emotion and humor and blend it into a masterpiece of a film. I was originally going to make one video of all three Muppet movies and talk about why they're great, but I've noticed just how distinct these movies are from each other that if I made one video, it would seem pretty all over the place. I want to make it exceptionally clear that the Muppet movie is a phenomenal film with everything that makes a great Muppet movie, and just a great movie in general. I'm happy the Muppets are getting another show on Disney+, Plus because it's nice to see Disney actually do something with them. Who knows? Maybe this show will get me to actually get a Disney Plus membership. Eh, maybe. Or maybe this will open the door for more Muppet movies to be made. Who can really say? All I know is that this one scene captures the magic and maturity of a masterpiece of the film. If you haven't watched the Muppet movie, please give it a watch. And as for the other Muppet movies out there, I have a lot to say about them, but those will be for another time. Anyway, thanks for watching.